What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. So a lot of people have been asking me about midfield and what type of players to have in midfield. I've broken it down into having two different types of midfielders and different pairings, right? So you can either go the athletic route or the possession route. This is the athletic route that we're going to cover in the first part of this video, which is going to be a player that covers every blade of grass. He can still pass, he can still shoot, but it's going to be a true box-to-box, -box, right? You're not going to be anchoring him or having him defensive. You're not going to have him super attacking. You're going to have a mix of everything. You're going to be covering blade, every blade of grass, as I said, getting in tackles, disrupting passing lanes, and basically... Basically, you're going to be controlling him for a large portion of the game. So you need somebody with good stamina and good average to good stats on everything, like passing, defense, everything, right? The second part of the video is going to cover possession, which is going to be pass-centric players, such as De Bruyne or Modric or somebody like that, right? So there's two ways of doing it. Now, I've broken this video down. We are going to get the first part underway with the athletic players. So I think Goretzka is the best box-to-box -box player in the game. You've also got somebody like Gravenberch or somebody like uh, Jude Bellingham, who can play that role depending on how you employ him and how you train him up check out my other videos if you're looking to train up you know box to box i'm going to have a specific video of how to train players as second part for this video but this is going to be gameplay related right so the first part of this video as i said lads is this is what it's all going to be about right this is going to be focusing on the attack side of the game right so you will see here with my runner goretzka he's playing as a cmf but he's going to make these amazing runs, right? He's going to make these amazing runs. Now, there's a couple of things that control what makes your CMF run like this, but mostly it's got to do with the AI and the fact that you don't put defensive or anchoring on him depending on where his, his uh, position is on the pitch. But you'll see where Goretzka ends up as my centre midfielder. You will see where he ends up after this play. He's in the box, in the six-yard box nearly, and he's ready for a tap in there, and I just obviously fluff my lines. You rewind this back into a different clip, and we're going to see another clip here, right, where we start attack from the goalkeeper watch Goretzka's movement here without me having any input in where I'm putting the player now I am playing an out wide formation with this I think out wide has some amazing AI runs but watch this for play from Goretzka he practically seals the game for me it's a beautiful bit of play hold up play with Ronaldo but it's just time and time again you will see so many instances of this where you get the ball you recycle it out wide you go back into the central position and then you're touching and going or you're manually triggering the runs to go yourself if you are playing this style, if this style is for you, this is how you need to play it. You need to be very comfortable at fast moving possession, getting through the lines, and then have somebody that can run the routes for you. And Goretzka is one of the best in the business at that, right? So for this team that we, I'm using here, we're just using a 4-4-2, okay? And we've got various, you know, strikers that we're going to use. It could be Collar, it could be Ronaldo, it could be Morientes, it could be Benzema, you know, Lewandowski, Giroud, it doesn't really matter. But our main role here is to have maybe one to two players that are going to be that box-to-box -box type player. So you'll see the different play styles there. You'll see Goretzka is a box-to-box. -box. You'll see Arabio is a box-to-box -box as well. So depending on how you play, Wick Ravenberch, if you want a little bit more defense, uh, you know, solidness, uh, you will need to have them players there, like with the anchor man and the destroyer and players like that. But box-to-box -box is going to make those runs. It's going to trigger a lot of runs, um, by themselves it's also dictated as well by offensive awareness and defensive awareness so the higher the defensive awareness the more he'll stay back the higher the offensive awareness the more he'll you know do run forward for so for somebody like Goretzka and uh, you can see like the differences in stats here you can see that Goretzka is going to be very kind of like even he's one of the best all-round center midfielders in the game so this works with any formation all you are focused on with this formation is as the clips that you just saw there is having a very solid baseline team at the back your back pairing your center back pairing doesn't matter who you have really there you can you know transfer in your favored center backs but if you are playing this you need to really be playing flexible or positionless uh football so when you are actually playing the other one which is possession based you're going to have more positions that are defined more clearly right so you're going to have your wingers out wide you're going to have your center midfielders as a pair in there Modric and De Bruyne we're not going to be focused on this too much with De Bruyne and Modric going forward and going back we're literally just going to be holding on to possession 
limiting our opponent turning us over, limiting our opponent getting actual quick counters. We've got the tree at the back, so we're going to have to be very patient on the ball. We could change that to this formation with a little bit more solid. You've got a lot of options there. We can even shore that up even once more if we want to bring in different defenders or we want to play three center backs at the back, which is quite meta, or we want to bring in a holding anchorman that's just going to break up the play. So as I said, the first type of uh, bit of gameplay that you saw here and the first setup is athletic an athletic an athletic based team this these clips that you're going to be seeing here is more kind of like sticking to the player's position uh not being as flexible manually triggering the runs if you want a player to run on obviously De Bruyne is going to be you know have high enough offensive awareness as well so we are going to have to try and keep him in this area of the pitch if you are playing this way this kind of suits slower based possession based players so you will see the movement from De Bruyne here just at default with De Bruyne's just default card uh, you're going to see his movement so he gets the ball in the center circle we're going to recycle it back in he's still in the center circle we spread it out wide he's going to move forward a little bit the ball kind of goes forward then he's going to make the, the move again he goes back kind of central he's always given an option and when the ball goes into the final third you're going to see him bust a gut to get into the box right now if you want to control this and you want to stop that from happening We've got Makalele as the anchorman, so we want De Bruyne to just sit in that little area in the middle of the pitch. We can obviously put defensive on De Bruyne, or you can also put anchoring. If you are playing anchoring, um, that will just kind of keep him from like going out too wide. He will stay central if he's in a wide position. So for here, you will see, obviously we get foul with De Bruyne, but watch his position when he gets back up and his AI resets and his animations reset. You will see his positioning, right? He comes for the ball, the opposite side, but he's still staying very, very, very central. So this is something that you can look at if you've got players that are kind of like making runs that you don't want them to make even if you're not triggering them right and we'll show you how to trigger them manually you want to keep if you are playing a possession based team and if you are playing a possession based player you want to keep your players in their positions right so you want the brine in this center circle in this area this is where we want the brine so that i know like in my mind's eye that i can pass the ball as an outlet to the brine to get me out of trouble from the back or to build an attack from the front manually. So this is what I'm talking about, building attacks manually. We're going to touch and go here. We're going to slot the ball in. Again, we're going to spread it out wide. We do get fouled here. We'll still spread it out wide there. We take the free it doesn't really matter and this is another example of it here so this is a manual run forward it is just a touch and go so when you hold l1 or lb on the xbox or pc you will trigger a manual run that the player will pass the ball and he'll run off to give you an option for maybe two or three seconds and then he'll stop and go back to his position or he'll just loiter in his position so you can do this as manually as you want you can you know run the whole pitch like this with the true balls and the trigger runs um, and the touch and goes but if you don't want to do that you can just do the tactics as i showed there and keep the brine in the perfect position and this is what it looks like when you have the Bruyne in that center circle we lose the ball he's yeah he's getting back on defense right but then he's there to kind of slot the ball back and now watch his movement here it's a little touch and go that I manually do another one that I manually do then I'm going to spread it out wide recycle it there's nothing on the wing there the overlap is closed down we recycle it back into Messi what are we going to look for we're going to look for De Bruyne to hit that killer pass acres of room to exploit on the right we get a really really good high conversion rate chance here and we just missed the target so that is kind of the two ways of packing your midfield you either have a very defensive based um player as your dmf kind of being like doing the one role or else you have players that will just like constantly harass in midfield and turn over look the way the game is at the moment it is more about kind of hassling turning over and playing quick counter but if you do want to play out wide or you want to play possession based gameplay which i like to play um, and control games you know and control games are for stray people that want to play at an arcade level and you want to play a kind of more a sim based uh, kind of pace and experience like this is kind of the way to do it you have to set up your team in the right way because if you are trying to use the Bruyne compared to somebody using Messi or Mbappe or Nakunku in that attack and midfielder role or Messi you're not going to be able to compete with the touching goals or the speed or the trickery or the dribbles or the pace or the acceleration because if you look at the Bruyne all his player skills are geared towards passing so you need to use him as a passer so there are the two options that you have in midfield lads um i will be doing a video on how to train up players depending on which version of this play style that you are going to use and obviously more comes into it like you're talking then whether you want you know you have the other line of attack with your strikers and your wingers that's a different thing if you are using this formation and you also have your back line as well whether you play attacking based you know fullbacks or defensive based fullbacks 
there's a lot of variation in it. But even if we play De Bruyne out in the wing here, we can keep him from anchored into that position and we can put him on defensive and we can manually keep De Bruyne where we want to put him just so that he can dictate the passes, he can switch play, he can bring the defenders into it. There is a lot to it, but this is a very easy way of understanding what way you want to set your team up. Do you want to have, you know, kind of like action man, Michael Essien type box to box, breaking up player, you know, starting attacks, ending attacks, uh, you know, getting back on defense, having an outlet all the time? Or do you want a player to sit in his position that you know he's there 90 minutes of the game and you are manually controlling his positions? They are the two options, athletic versus possession based. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and share it. I'll be back soon, lads. Peace.